In Florida, the battle over school choice has escalated in a surprising area. Local ministers are criticizing the Florida branch of the NAACP for supporting a lawsuit that is trying to kill the school choice program in the state, even though 70, actually, here's the deal. There are 70,000 students enrolled in the program, 70% are minority, but 20,000 of the 70,000 kids are black. Now, kids in these schools are getting better grades and test scores are rising. Yesterday, uh, a judge threw out this lawsuit. It was filed by the uh, Federation of Teachers there, and the NAACP joined that lawsuit. Joining us right now is Pastor Dr. Manu Manuel Sykes of Bethel Community Baptist Church. He's a former president of the St. Petersburg, Florida branch of the NAACP. He is a school choice supporter. Uh, we did reach out to the NAACP to try to get someone on. We're unable to do so. Pastor, I want to go to you. Um, is, um, so... I'm trying to understand here. So you have 70,000 kids who are part of this Opportunity Scholarship Program. A judge previously ruled that a voucher bill was unconstitutional. Critics call this a voucher bill. Yet 20,000 of the 70,000 kids are black. Have you gotten a, in a response from the NAACP why they are opposing it? Well, it, they didn't give me really any uh, direct explanation in general they felt that it was undermining the public school system. And in their opinion, the public school system is the best chance for African-Americans and other children to get a, a free and equal education. So they were basing their, um, their views on the premise that the public school was the best option for, uh, for our children to learn and succeed. I suppose it's a carryover from uh, Brown versus the Board of Education when it was dealing with segregation, you know, the old uh, separate and unequal. But as you can see, statistics show that that hasn't worked well for our children. Well, and, and, and again, what, what, what jumps out at me, though, is that it's not like you don't have black kids who are already participating in this program. Uh, the position that I take when it comes to school choice is that I look at education as a pie. And there are kids who will be going to private school, traditional public school, charter schools, magnet schools, home school, online school, vouchers, opportunity scholarships. There's no, there's, for me, there's no idea of one size fits all. Uh, but, but I'm still trying to understand how can you have in a program uh, nearly 30% of the kids in the program are black and the NAACP would oppose a program, what do, what do they say to those parents uh, whose kids are in the program? Well, I think that's the exact question. You know, there's a time when any organization can assume, like the school board, that it knows what's right for other people without asking and polling them. Um, times have changed, and the outcome of what has taken place with our children is the loudest uh, data available that is not working for everybody. Even the school system itself has a cookie cutter approach to curriculum with the exception of kids that are very gifted or kids with very major learning disabilities. Everyone else sort of falls in the middle. And it's been demonstrated that direct instruction, for instance, uh, works wonders with children that are poor and economically deprived areas. So it's not an issue as to whether they can learn. It's an issue of whether they have access to the curriculums and opportunities that, that they thrive in. NAACP and other organizations like the school board are hard and fast against it. Gotcha. And what's bad about it is that the children are at stake, not these people that's wrestling in the courtroom. Right. Pastor Sykes, I appreciate it. Thank you so very much for joining us. You're welcome. What about our panel on this? Because this is this is what bothers me. I was in I was recently speaking in Nashville, Memphis, and Atlanta on this very issue. And there are individuals who are on school boards who are against school choice, who are against charters, who are against vouchers, yet they don't even have their own children in the very public schools that they oversee as school board members. It's a shame, and it creates a situation where now education is going to be the next civil rights issue, especially for these young African-American kids in some of these communities. They're not going to be able to access good schools because some of these school boards are not going to be focusing on schools that are at risk in communities that are at risk. So these school choice scholarship opportunities for kids to go to these private schools, 
Let them have an advantage. Let them take advantage of that situation while these school boards try to work out the problems in, and fix some in of these In Tennessee, things. Wilmer, they had a bill that would have exempted the top 95% of all students in Tennessee. And they said they were going to create a voucher bill um, that would have gone to the bottom 5%, the worst of the worst, meaning those parents would be able to take that money and send a kid to a Catholic school, to a private school, or whatever, uh, and then they could, they could go out there and who would actually cover the whole education. You had black elected officials in Tennessee who said, absolutely not. Yet, if you show the feeder schools, the feeder schools of some of those, uh, in some of those neighborhoods, eight elementary schools, F, four middle schools, F, the high school, F, and I'm going... Those are your constituents, and you're saying, I won't even do it for the worst of the worst? That, to me, is suicide. Well, that, that's one form of suicide, but also what you have to look at is, don't you want to fix the school system? And taking money out of the school system and sending it to a private system doesn't fix the system. Yeah, but here's what, the deal, though. What's what's happening, happening, Wilmer, if you're a kid, if you have a, four, a fourth grader, Wilmer, and somebody's coming to you with a five or seven year plan, that means that what they're telling you is, hey, wait till your kid's in the ninth and the tenth grade, and then we'll have this thing figured out. We've been trying to fix the school system, and our kids are the one getting screwed. But what I don't understand is when our kids are the one who are failing, our kids are the ones who are going to be limited in the future, and here we are fighting a system and saying, well, let's go ahead and fix this when it ain't working for us right now. The heat that's in this debate is the heat that's in the external public debate, and it's also the reason why the debate isn't moving forward, because there's not a meeting of the minds where we can all agree. There are real and legitimate reasons why the NAACP is opposing those dollars going to these schools. There are real and legitimate reasons why parents and others who are concerned about at least 20,000 children getting the benefit of a charter school or benefit of char choice are interested in those dollars. Both positions are right. What we have to do, though, is look at the more than 20,000 children who are going to be left in a public school system that is absent those dollars and find a fix for that. That doesn't mean people who are saying fix the public school system don't have to be against choice. What they're saying is find a way to fund choice and ensure that parents who want to have choice options right. get them while. Here's the deal. While right. I'm saying both sure that the public school system is not stripped of funding for children but, who are there whose parents are not going to make a choice but, but, role. Here's the deal. But, but, no, but, but, but this is the mistake, but this is the mistake that we're making. Make a but this is the mistake that we're making. To make a Dollars to schools are assigned per people. In D.C., you see it right now. Does the D.C. school system still exist? Yes. Do you have more than 40% of D.C. kids who are in charter schools, which are actually public schools, Yes, the school system hasn't gone away. Dollars are assigned to students. No, that's so not 100 percent Follow me, follow there me, follow me. There are me dollars here. assigned to dollars schools, and there are dollars yes. assigned for technology. Yes, there are I dollars assigned that. for, e for, what, for and, infrastructure. And, and, and what I'm saying is this here. Buildings. What I'm saying is this here. When you have a system where our kids are the ones who are losing out. I'm down with both. I'm saying, and I've always been this way, I support traditional schools, charter schools, magnets, and vouchers. But what I will not do is sit here and say, oh, I can have personal choice because I can afford it, but I'm not going to give you choice because I'm believing in, in the whole system saying fix the system. That's my problem. And what I don't hear is when people say, no, no, why well, can't support all of it? I support what works. I do not support failure. And too often our kids are being forced into failing schools, and we're saying, well, that's pretty much it. We're good.